Hey guys, Chris Ray here. Today I'm going to show you how you can use USB drives with Windows 98 PCs. So, let's get started. Okay guys, so first of all, why would you want to use a flash drive with Windows 98? Well, there's a few reasons. Personally for me, I'm going to be using this for a old school gaming rig. Now, there's also a lot of cases where you need to use Windows 98. Uh, some businesses still have programs that only work on Windows 98 through DOS, uh, things like that. So if you click on this video, you probably have your own reason in mind, even if it is just to play around. But anyways, guys, let's get into it. Okay, guys, so first off, what are you going to need? Well, you're going to need a Windows 98 computer, obviously, uh, the normal things, a monitor, Something to keep in mind though is, in order to accomplish this, you're going to have to delete the current USB drivers, which means you're going to have to use a keyboard with a uh, PS2 connector, no USB. Uh, you technically don't need a mouse, but I highly recommend it. It's a lot easier to navigate not having to use tab and the arrow keys, so a PS2 mouse would also be nice to have. Um, you're also going to need... A USB drive to use. Now this one is like some cheap thing I bought back in like 2006. It's a two gigabyte Staples brand. Uh, I should point out this won't necessarily work with all flash drives. Uh, it should work with most of them though and the chances of find, having a drive that doesn't work is pretty low. It seems to work with all the drives that I have. Anyways, you're also going to need some way to get the new driver onto the Windows 98 computer. Now, this could either be a disk, if your 98 has a disk drive. If it doesn't, it'll be more difficult, but you can always get a USB floppy drive to transfer stuff. That's not as nice, and it would probably be easier to just buy a disk drive. But either way, you're going to need either a disk or a floppy disk, depending on how you're going to do it. Uh, and you're also going to need, you know, a, a modern computer that can connect to the internet. I should point out, if your Windows 98 machine can connect to the internet, I guess you technically don't need, you know, a disk or a floppy disk. But I'd be pretty careful about connecting to the internet with these old computers. There's uh, not that much in the terms of uh, virus protection, if you know what I'm saying. But anyways, so what you're going to want to do is go down to the link in this description, download the driver that you're going to need, and then find a way to get it onto your uh, Windows 98 machine. You're going to just want to put it on your desktop or in my document, somewhere you'll be able to get to it easily, especially if you're not using a mouse. So let's get into it. Okay guys, so as you can see I have my Windows 98 machine turned on and operational. Uh, if you can see there to the right, that's the driver. We aren't going to worry about that yet. What you're going to want to do is go up to My Computer, right click and hit Properties. Now what we're going to want to do is click on Device Manager and we're going to scroll down to the uh, Universal Serial Bus section, the USB section. Uh, we're going to open that up and you're going to have to delete all the drivers in that category. Uh, for me, I have three. You may have more or less, you know, depending on your setup. But you're going to want to delete all of them. Now, obviously, whenever you start to do this, if you're using a USB keyboard and mouse, it, they're going to stop working. So you're going to have to transition over to a uh, PS2 keyboard and mouse. Okay, so I'm just going to delete these, and then we'll get back to the video. Okay guys, so I got all the drivers deleted. Now we came back out here to the desktop and I'm going to install the new driver. So as you can see, it's right here. All we're going to do is run it. Just double click. It's going to come up here. You're going to want to hit yes, obviously, to accept the agreement. Uh, give it a second and as you see, it should be, it should be automatically installing. Once you're done, you might as well just hit yes, restart the computer. 
Uh, you're going to want to make sure that you have your Windows 98 installation disk. If you don't have one, it's easy to make a new one. Uh, presumably as long as you have a disk drive of some sort. Anyways, now the computer should be restarting. Now, whenever the computer restarts, it's going to look for some drivers. Just tell it uh, to automatically check your installation disk. It should run through, uh, install anything that it needs to. But the important part is that you now have your new driver installed as well. Okay, so we have Windows 98 back up. As you can see, if I go up here and click on my computer, a removable disk drive is now there. So we can uh, click on that, open it up, see what files are in there, uh, transfer files. That's really all you need to do. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. The only thing to keep in mind is a lot of, uh, even the programs that work with Windows 98, the newer versions on Windows 10 or Windows 8 or whatever operating system you're using that you want to transfer may not be compatible. So like, for example, Microsoft Word, you're going to want to make sure that you save your documents on your Windows 10 computer in a format that Windows 98 can utilize. Uh, that's just little things like that to keep in mind, but overall that's, that's it. That's all you have to do. So guys, I hope you found this video useful. Uh, I plan on doing more videos about Windows 98 in the future. I'm going to be installing Flight Simulator 98. I'm going to be uh, configuring a joystick to use with games. Uh, I also plan on doing other things like seeing if I can get wireless internet connected. That's going to be fun. Uh, I'm also going to be going over uh, different programs that I think are still useful on a computer this old. So guys, if you like this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you want to see more videos like this, then make sure to get subscribed, and I'll see you guys next time.